Good morning from Madurai Airport, where I've just landed after a short flight from Chennai, here in Tamil Nadu. My plan for today is just to go check in a nice hotel, sit, chill, relax, eat a bit of nice food before heading to Kerala tomorrow. Don't plan on doing too much in Madurai itself, that's why I've booked a pretty decent hotel, paying 8,000 rupees per night. That is like oh, 85 quid or 110 dollars US. About double what I would normally spend for a hotel in India. But like I said, I plan on spending most of the day in the hotel, so I think it's worth it. And the reason I don't take the opportunity to go explore Madurai a wee bit is, uh, yeah, it's just kind of like famous for temples and stuff that I'm really interested in. And uh, so why do I come here in the first place? Well, it's just a convenient place to fly into before going by road to Kerala. So that is the plan. It's 10.30 a.m. just now. Hotel check-in time is 2 p.m. So I don't know what, even if I'm going to check in this early. Hello. Good morning. Hello. I'm checking in. Checking. Check in, yes. Thank you my friend, thank you. Okay, here we are. And I can see from back there, it looks like it's all these little villas in this hotel. So where is the check-in? I guess through there. Oh, hello my friend, how are you? Is this for me? What is it? Some flowers. Okay. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, thank you. I want to check in. Is this the desk here, reception? Oh, okay. I'm a little bit early, so maybe a problem. Hi. Okay. Good morning. I'd like to check in, but I'm a little bit early, so. Okay. Can I have a name? And my name is Dale Phillip. Okay. So well, that guy checks me in. He's going to check out the pool. Look at this. Oh, fantastic! I will be going for a wee swim, in here. Looks amazing. What's that? Hi. Videos not allowed. Video not allowed here? Ah, okay. No, guest is there in the Oh, if guests are there. Ah, okay, I understand. Okay, I won't take. Okay, so just wandering around the grounds of this place. There's a wee pub in there. Let's have a wee look through the window. Hello. <laughs> right, so it's about 10 minutes until I can get my hotel room, which is still going to be well before 12 midday. So that's fantastic, and that's one of the advantages of booking a boutique hotel rather than, you know, one of the big chain hotels like the Hilton, the Marriott, the bloody Radisson, the Hyatt, those types. They uh, tend to let you check in early if you want before 2 p.m. but for a fee, you know, whereas the independent hotels, they tend not to fleece you. If the room's available, we'll generally give it to you. And uh, yeah, just went to check in. The guy wasn't too happy about me filming next to the pool. That's just because there were other guests there. He says if there's no guests there, then I can film. So uh, hopefully, that pool clears up and I can go for a wee swim on my own, that'd be nice. Okay, so there's no guests in the pool just now. It's looking fantastic. I'd like to get checked in as soon as possible so I can get a wee swim on my own. Do some lengths in that thing. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Oh, your man's a bit sweaty, so... <laughs> right now, you wouldn't mind a wee dip. Oh. Hi. Oh, my room's available, is it? I was just checking out your plums, your plum cakes. Uh, it's a popular thing in Tamil Nadu, right? At Christmas, the plum cake. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's my room, right? Yeah, the, your room number 260. Okay. Can yeah. I explain our hotel specialties? Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. The swimming pool over here, morning yeah. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. 7 till 7, okay. Yeah. yeah. The restrooms have a changing room right side. Okay, good. We have a gym, is there? Oh, there's a gym? Okay, yeah, I'll check that out. I'll be good. I haven't had a gym so far this trip. One moment, sir. The, yeah. Uh, cutting. You're oh. cutting, sir. I'm cutting? No, no, this. Shooting. You're shooting? Shooting, yes. No, I accept you... with the reception after. Oh, you don't want to be shot? No, no. <laughs> but I will, uh... Are you going to check? Uh, nobody did before like this, no? Uh, no. Okay, I'm the first one to come shooting <laughs> in your place. You said it's fine as long as I'm not uh, filming the other yeah, guests one, in, one, the, in the swimming pool and stuff, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a 24 hours 24 coffee hours shop. Coffee ah, okay. Shop. Straight out the restaurant, the breakfast time morning 7 to 10. Ah, okay, great. So lunch 12.30 to 3 o'clock. Ah, okay. Dinner 7 to 10.30. Okay. We have a spa service. Yes. Hi. Oh, it's your spa. Okay. Great. I'm not going to I'm not gonna book anything right now, but I might take a look later on. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I got an idea. Okay. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, 
So how old is this building? Yeah, this is near 100 years old. Nearly 100 years yeah. old. Okay, but this just the main part is 100 years old. Yes. Sir. And then you've built the villas next to it. Villas, everything is a uh, little um, that uh, reconstruction work is. Ah, how long ago did the uh, Madura Courts property this one? It was a what? Madura Madura Courts property. Madura Courts property. Yes. Okay. British guest house. Ah, okay. Mm. You have any luggage, sir? Just this. This much. Yes, me, easy. I'll bring. No problem. I've carried it all over the world. I can carry it to my room. No problem. Yeah, please. Okay. Oh wow. It's a nice smell in the air. This from the trees, right? Yes, sir. What kind of trees are these? This, uh, this is sandalwood. Sandalwood. Yeah. This oh. is sandalwood. Yeah. This oh, this tree. one here. Yeah. Yeah. This tree is sandalwood. Oh, it's a beautiful it's fragrance. A mango tree. Mango tree. Oh. Three different mangoes. This oh. is different. This one is different. This one is different. Oh. And are mangoes coming? Yeah. I can't see any up there. Till four or five months after only. Ah, after four or five months, the mangoes yeah, will come. And May. That yeah. time only season. Ah, okay. This is all luxury villa. All luxury villa. There's yeah. no ordinary hotel rooms. It's just all luxury villas. Yeah, no, no. So only 32 rooms is a luxury villa. Yeah, 32 rooms are luxury villas. Yeah, and um, another totally we have 73 rooms. Ah, okay. The Great. small Madurai village is there. Ah, okay. You're small. It's like a recreated yeah. uh, village, Madurai right? Madurai village. Yeah. And the evening, four to six o'clock is open. Yeah, for do, they're doing like some kind of performance or something, and right? The or tea stall. A tea, tea stall. Ah, right, okay. Kind of free for you. Oh, they're free. free. Really, huh? And, I like uh, that price. That's a good price. Pottery making is there. Pottery making? Pottery, yes. Oh, okay, that may be interesting. Um, that uh, will pottery making is there. Oh. Is that popular with the guests? Many guests go to this. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay, yes. good. Kids, you also try how to yeah. make your jewels. Okay, that, that'll be fun. And uh, that cooking class demo also there. Oh, really? Oh, good. Yes. Okay. Uh, the sixth villa. Your room number is 2603. 2603, right there. Okay. Ooh. Nice wooden floor. Very huge room for you. So only one yeah. I can still smell the fragrance of the trees from inside the room, so it's beautiful. So this is a living room area, right? Yes, sir. This is living area. Ah, nice wooden floors. And also modern TV. Let's have a look through. I guess this is the bedroom. Oh, wow. Big living room and big bedroom. Yeah, this is a big bedroom. Ah. Good. Okay. It's my shower. Bathroom is bigger than anything else. Yes. Oh well. So it's a little outdoor pool. But I can swim or like sit in that, or that's just for. You want to sit in there. Ah, okay, good. Let's see what the temperature's like. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> That'll be refreshing. Okay, let's have a look at the shower. Oh well, nice. I like it. And over here? There's the toilet over here. Let's have a look. Very nice. Yeah, this is nice a place. This is called lounge chair. Lounge chair, huh? There's only one room is, is available. This five rooms is there. This, uh -huh. this is the room. Only. I'm the only one who's got one of these. Yes. I feel special. This is our mother granite. <laughs> That's a granite. Yeah, this is a mother granite. Yes. Mother granite. Yes. Very nice. Huh? I'm impressed. Very nice room. There's a light switch here, sir. Mm-hmm. This is safe locker. Any mm. four digit number. Same number also open. Oh, yeah, I know. So laundry bag, list also there. Give some laundry service if like anything. Okay. This is a bathroom. If you want, you can use the swimming pool near the reception. Okay. This air condition, this switch on, switch up, increase degrees up and down. Yeah. This door also, if you want to close the door. Okay, my friend. This is a very good fan also here. See, this is a rotate type fan. Oh, it's like old style fan, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. How old is the fan? Is it like kind of the like retro style or is it actually very old? It's a, it's it's a very old fan. It's a very old fan, yeah. 
<laughs> Never seen a fan like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is a spa massage menu card also there. Yeah. The spa massage oh, menu card. A spa, spa menu. Okay. This minibar is here. This is chargeable uh -huh. and this one is chargeable. Okay. All chargeable, right? Yes. But there's water, right? Oh yeah, I see there. Yeah, water. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. The key is here. Okay. The key or things to check the lights. Okay. One key, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, my friend. I well, this place ain't too shabby, is it? <laughs> Feels a bit of a waste. It feels a bit too big for one person, for just one of me. Oh, that's what I like to see. They've got the mosquito burner already burning right down there. Fantastic. I want to avoid that because outside there is that pool. That looks like somewhere mosquitoes could breed, I guess. It looks kind of stagnant, right? There's no kind of like flowing water. I wonder if there's a way for me to, I don't know, pump more water into that or whatever. I see like a wee pump there, but I wouldn't mind a wee dip in this before I actually go into the swimming pool. My own private little, what would you even call that thing? A plunge pool? A, a pond? I don't know. I thought it was a pond at first. I had to kind of guess that, that that must be for sitting and there's like steps going down. So uh, I think that's the first thing that I'm gonna try. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you when I get in there. Well, apparently after 4 p.m. around here, there's tons of mosquitoes, so I will be using the repellent, cover myself in 50% DEET. Right, let's go for a wee dip. And that's plunge pool. I think that's what it's called. If anybody knows what it's actually called, let me know. And uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is take... I'm going to take a hot shower. And then jump in there in the buff, because I've already felt that the, uh, the water's freezing cold. But I'll just dip in just now. Oh, it's nice and refreshing with you guys. And then, oh, 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 I'll go for the naked post hot shower dip on my own, shall I? So we sit down here. Oh, oh that's just what you want. <laughs> that's just what you want when you're all sweaty and you've just checked into the hotel, isn't it? Oh, 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 very nice. <laughs> Even nicer after a hot shower, I think. Oh, aye. I wonder if I've got total privacy. I don't think anybody can see over there at all, even standing on here. Aye, you do have total privacy in here. Fantastic. What's that? Can you hear a fire alarm? In fact, it sounds like one of the old air raid sirens from the 1940s in the UK. Well, this wooden chair is actually comfortable. Didn't think it would be. It's quite nice sitting underneath that fan as well. The mosquitoes don't really bite you if there's a fan going towards them. But uh, oh, I was in and out of that plunge pool about half a dozen times. I know the shower, hot shower, cold plunge pool. Fantastic. But I think now to the actual swimming pool it would be lovely. Let's do it. Oh, aye. What time is it? 12.48, keeping good time. Right, so, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to film the pool, it depends if there's other people there or not. If not, I'll see you later. And if the pool's free, I'll see you there. Well, I had a good half hour swim, but unfortunately, there was a French block there with his two kids splashing around, goofing off, just generally being annoying. And I thought, if I stayed there long enough, eventually they'd go away. But, uh, just like in Batacaloa, if you see my video from there, uh, they didn't. And I guess so. they've paid as much money as me, they've got as much right to, to be there as me, but uh, still, I wish they would have pissed off. <sighs> well, as somebody who spent half his adult life living in Thailand, the price of these spa packages is a bit much to me. So, if I did fancy a massage, I'd probably go find a spa outside for a cheaper price. And talking about going outside, I'm going to do that right now and find a cheaper price on some food. Let's go explore a wee bit, shall we? I'll be spending all day in the hotel. Can we now? Okay, some guy's looking at me, security guy. I don't know, like, they seem really on edge about you filming around here. But anyway, I'm just going to ignore him. Just now you'll see him when I turn this corner. 
but uh, I'm going to head into the old town where there's this massive temple and I've told you guys before that he, he, he looked like he was in half a mind to tell me to, to turn it off, you might see him now. Uh, I told you guys I wasn't going to go and visit temples, but here's the thing guys, uh, this big massive temple, it looks like quite impressive from the outside, so I might go and have a wee look at it while I go and explore the old town, which it looks like that's where it is, so that's probably where I'll head to, use that as a starting off point to go explore for food and uh, supplies as well. You might notice I'm wearing the same sweaty t-shirt that I arrived in before I had the shower and stuff. Well, this is my last fresh clean. Well, it's not clean anymore. It's a bit uh, sweaty and damp. <laughs> it's my last cotton t-shirt. I'm down to a couple of sports shirts and that's me. Uh, so obviously the price to get some express laundry done and the hotel is going to be outrageously high. So uh, yeah, I might try and find some washing powder and do my laundry in my room and hang it outside underneath that fan on the wooden chair. Seems like a good idea, but anyway, let's get an Ola and get into town. So it's like quite a happening wee place. <laughs> Hello! Wow! That guy almost ran me over. Let's see if it works. Ajar Ananda. It's nice, not too spicy. Okay, thank you. Uh, just one. Okay, thank you my friend, bye. Okay, so just got back and got myself some of this. 10 rupees worth of aerial washing up powder so that I can do my laundry for 10 rupees like a cheap Scotsman. Fanta- Oh oh, I've left the bloody door open. Which means the place is probably full of mosquitoes. Damn. It's actually 5pm, they said not to keep the door open after 4pm. I'm pretty sure I closed that. I think that's popped open itself. Or maybe I didn't close it, but damn. Uh, right, I'm gonna go now to the hotel has some sort of thing going on, they said, where they were doing, well, actually they said there was free food and drink, so I'm definitely not gonna pass that up. And uh, there was some other bits and pieces that was going on. So I'm gonna spray myself with mosquito repellent, 50% deep, one just flew in front of my bloody face right now. And uh, I'll do that, I'll hang around the hotel for a while and then there's a big massive hypermarket not too far from here that's open until 10pm so I'll go there later for, for my supplies to take to Munar tomorrow. I'm gonna check out this little village they said, some Madurai village, some faux village that they've set up inside the hotel complex and there's supposed to be some food or drink going on, in fact I think this is it here. And they said the food or drink was free and that's the pretty much the prime reason that I'm making my way here. Uh, I think this is it here, tiny wee place. We park and stuff for the kids. And uh, that guy with some biscuits. Is that it mate? Something else. Hello. Let's see what's going on here. I think over there maybe some drinks. Let's have a look. Oh that's where they're doing the pottery. Alright, we go. Making a pot. And here, cocktails. No, live cooking. Free live food demonstration. Hello, what are you doing in here? Yeah. You're making something. No, oh, something. This is called for uh, more than something. Like veg balls. Veg balls. Yes. Ah, okay. But, uh, South Indian spices, spices. Indian spices. So veg uh, vegetables mixed with potato, right? Potato and carrot beans. Yeah. Cauliflower, everything is boiled. It's spiced up with uh, South Indian spices. Yes, Indian spices. Yeah. I recognize this one. This is the one that sometimes you eat after the meal, Anise. right? Yeah. Aniseed, yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah, Anise. I know. Good for digestion. Yeah, I know this one. So you actually make food with this? Yes. Okay. This is all of you boiled. Yeah. After you mashed, everything is mashed. Ah. Mashed. Mashed everything up. Yes, mashed. The salt or sugar? Salt. Salt, ah, okay. Black pepper and uh, red chili, mm -hmm. cornflour and uh, Anisage. What do you say this was? This is for a uh, freight channa. It's called for... Ch channel? Channa. Channa. Dal, uh, dal. That's dal. Ah, okay, lentils, lentils. Okay. Lentils. Yeah, okay, yellow it's lentils, right? It's out powder. Ah, okay. This is four items for powder. Make, ah, okay. make it powder. Okay. After mess it, everything is put in powder. Oh. After this is... That's the result of every, yes. all of that mashed up, is that? Yes. Ah, okay. And then you put it into little balls, right? No liquid, no water. No water? No use water. No use water? Yes, already. Just mold it. Moisture. Already is moisture. But from the potato? Ah, yes. Yeah. Inside is uh, moisture. Yeah, so the potato is providing all the moisture for this. Yes. Okay, so that makes it no stick together, yeah. Okay. 
just a second. You taste it. Make some balls. I taste it raw before cooking? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> taste it before and after cooking. Okay. Your name, sir? My name is Dale. And your name? My name is Kadrawan. Kadrawan? It's called for uh, same like sun. The sun? Yes. Okay. So you're very bright. You're a very bright man. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> And when you put them in the oil, how long does it take for them to cook? Oh. Probably quite quickly, right? Yes, that's the thing. It's just the oil's just heating up now, yeah? It's hot enough? You rotate it hot slowly, slowly. Okay. There we go. What else is going on around here? This is the first thing I came to look at. You have this live cooking demonstration. What yes, else? This. I seen the little girl making some pottery in this one. You make the pottery? Yeah, and another one seems to have like some tiffin uh, jars. So I have some other kind of food or something. Your, uh, the first one has some like uh, tiffin jar, like the biscuits okay, okay. and no yeah. No problem. Just two minutes or three minutes. Ah, okay. After you go. Okay, after I eat uh, your balls. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> How to make? I'm teaching. Oh, you're teaching, but yes. I can eat, right? You're going to give. I can try this, oh, right? First, yeah. First you try Good. This. Oh yes. And you just call this veg balls. Yes, veg balls. Okay. But uh, all of our uh, spices for uh, south Indian of Indian, spices. south of Indian yes, spices, yes, right? Basically, south Indian. Yes. What's the difference between South Indian and India, North Indian spices? South Indian is more no. more more strong spices, or no, no, no. Indian is little bit used for. Uh, Spices, uh -huh. but South Indian for all spices. All spices. All spices. Okay, and North India they yeah. just have a selection of. Yes. Uh, ah, okay. Only we have used in black pepper only. Ah, okay. Yeah. We have more ingredients for black pepper. Ah, okay. North Indian is for uh, mild spicy. Yeah. But uh, South Indian for full spicy. Full spicy. Yeah, yeah good. Is that because South Indian men are more strong than North Indian men, you yes. think? Yes. You eat, eating for a morning dosa? Morning dosa? No. Mostly I'm mostly I'm skipping breakfast. But tomorrow I'm going to try and... Uh, you try dosa yeah. and uh, South Indian food. South Indian food, yeah. I've yes. tried dosa before with just some masala, aloo masala yes, inside, masala yeah? Dosa. That's the masala best, the best kind of dosa? What do you normally have with your dosa? You, what would you have inside? I am chef in the kitchen. But yeah. I am only two hours I am wearing another room. Ah, this okay, room. I understand, yeah. This is the cook club finished, I am going to kitchen. Ah, okay. Well, tomorrow breakfast time. Yes. I try the dosa. Yes, okay. Let's, yes. Uh, oh, yes, cameraman, good. Uh, okay. Oh, very hard, very right? Hard, very hard. Okay. Uh, how do I eat this without burning my mouth? Wait, 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 very hard. I have to wait a bit, yeah? Yeah. Soft. Outside is... Yeah, outside is nice and crispy. crispy. Yeah, and inside, inside still soft. sells soft. Yes. I like food like that. Crispy and outside, soft and inside. Okay, I'll just take a little bit because it's really, really hot. Mmm. <laughs> that is thank nice. You. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your... That is lovely. What? Your camera work not so good. <laughs> you're, you're shooting the ground. Oh, this is nice. Mm. This is good. Oh, yeah. It's nice and healthy also. He showed me how to make it and everything. Yeah, okay. He showed you already? Yeah, he's oh, yeah. Last two days I'm here. It's yeah. very healthy also. Yeah. That's, well, it tastes good. Very hot. Mm. Two more than Kevin. Oh, okay. Mm. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. <laughs> and you're making the same thing every day or every day you change yeah, the recipe? Every day change the menu. Change the menu, okay. I'm only here for one day, so this is all I can try from your uh, How many cooking. Staying? In India? Uh, no. On this only hotel? Day. Only one day, only yeah. One I'm just day. passing through. Okay. I'm on my way to Kerala. Yeah, so I just stopped here for one day to, to okay. re relax, yeah. Uh, so yeah. How's the experience? Good. Thank yeah, you. nice and relaxing. This hotel is very nice, right? Okay. This may be the best one around uh, Madurai, yeah? Yes, one of the best. Best one on uh, my heritage. Best one is this uh, one, yeah? yeah? Good. I'm glad to be staying in the best hotel in town. Mmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> Good. Oh, that was lovely. Yes, okay, thank so thank you very much for, you. for your food and I'll see you tomorrow uh, or in the restaurant, right? Yes. You're cooking dinner and breakfast, right? Breakfast. Okay, tomorrow I'm going for breakfast, so I'll see okay. you Come. for some uh, delicious dosas tomorrow. Yes. Okay, see you tomorrow, my friend. I will, I will serve you. Okay, good. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, sorry, what is your name? So my name is Kadirawan. Okay, I remember. Kadirawan. 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 Kadirawan, yes. Kadirawan. My name is Dale. Pleased to meet you. Thank okay, you. and see you thank tomorrow. You. Yes. Kadirawan. Okay. That was nice. I don't think much else going on here. I don't think I want to uh, do any of the pottery, but um, I'll see what's going on in the wee tea shop. Maybe get a wee drink. Since it's free, isn't it? Mmm, those veggie balls were nice. Oh, that looks good. What is this, Lassie? Those are milk. Milk, just milk? Uh, yeah. what, what do you have? I oh, sorry, have. I'm cutting in front of you. You're, uh, you're before me. Yeah. Oh, that is yours. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, what, what do you have? Tea, coffee, lemon tea, black tea, black coffee. Oh, you have masala tea? No, no. Making this is our traditional tea shop. Traditional tea shop, ah, okay. Outside, uh, local child's tea shop. Ah, okay. So the lemon tea would be good because you're making it with a fresh lemon, right? Yeah. Okay, good. That'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. I like that, but it's made with the fresh lemon. Yeah. Sure. Sometimes you ask for lemon tea, they're just giving you like a, a powder, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but when it, it's with the fresh lemon, it's delicious, really, it is delicious. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, very, 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 very hot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let this cool down a wee bit <laughs> before I attempt to stick it in my mouth. Okay. Oh. <sighs> ah, very nice. Thank you, my Thank friend. You, yeah, Thank you. Sure. Great. Thank you. It's very nice. See you. See you tomorrow morning. Oh, nice wee treat. Right, I'm going back to my room now and with my 10 rupee sachet of aerial liquid, doing my laundry the cheap way. And hopefully it will, <laughs> hopefully it will be dry for tomorrow. Otherwise I'm dragging a big heavy bag of wet clothes to Manar with me. <laughs> well, my laundry is done. Hopefully by tomorrow morning all of this is going to be fresh, clean and dry because I've set it underneath this big fan right here. I've dragged this chair directly underneath it and uh, this chair looks perfect for just hanging my clothes. It's got this kind of like mesh that will just let the air go through and yeah, hopefully I've got like 12 hours or something for it to dry and hopefully my wet clothes won't uh, wreck their wood or anything. It is varnished and I guess people are coming out of that plunge pool and, and using it so I guess water probably doesn't damage it so yeah that's the 10 rupee way to wash your clothes in a luxury hotel <laughs> anyway I'm going to the swimming pool now it is about half past six and the pool closes at seven oh it's nice Okay, well your man's back from Big Bazaar, the only legit hypermarket slash supermarket around in Tamil Nadu, at least. That's a good tip for any of you guys. Hang on, let's, this is the bounty. Let's just pour it out onto the bed. Oh, what a large amount of snacks and drinks. Well, the only one type of drink, it's Pepsi Black, which is basically Pepsi's equivalent of Coke Zero. I guess it's basically Pepsi Max, in fact. But uh, the only... Uh, non-sugar soft drink that they had. I got, I think, 15 cans of that. That is 25 rupees a can. Let's see what else I got. Uh, this is all for taking to uh, Munar tomorrow in Kerala, where I'm going by road. Before, I've been traveling from city to city by plane, so I can't, and I'm, I'm hand luggage only, guys. That is it, that is my one bag that I travel with. That one right there, so I can't be taking stuff like this normally. I can't even be carrying mouthwash because it's more than 100 milliliters in it, so. Yeah, I bought some mouthwash, I think it was 120 rupees. And then, uh, you've got your chips here, you've got whatever bujia it is, but it's barbecued flavoured, so I'm pretty sure I'll like it. What else we got? Just some regular salted banana chips, only 20 rupees, fantastic. These little five-star bars, I think they're like 10 rupees. And then, 
case I get hungry during the night, some seafood curry noodles, some masala cup of noodles. Uh, what's this? Oh, I've got a wee plum cake because it's Christmas right now when I'm filming this, guys. And then, uh, at least Tamil Nadu, I don't know about the rest of India, they seem to have rich plum cakes everywhere. They're selling them at this hotel, they're selling them in shops in the streets, they're selling them in the big hypermarket. They had a whole aisle with them, so it must be really popular. So, uh, it's always Christmas Day, so on Christmas Day I'm going to eat this uh, by myself. Pretty sure you think that's very sad, but I don't. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my wee plum cake on my own and uh, enjoy my peace, peaceful Christmas Day. And uh, of course I bought some some muff. Uh, it's always nice to eat some muff when you travel, so uh, I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy that. Not an expensive muff either. I think that was like 10. Where is it there? 10. So every, every product in India has an MRP, a maximum retail price, and that's the maximum. And usually that is the price that anyone sells it for, right? So um, if, you, if you think you're getting ripped off, just look on the packaging for the MRP. And if they're charging you more than the MRP, it's actually illegal. So you can call them out on it. I've only done it once. I've only once had somebody try to overcharge me from the MRP. Normally, even like the little shops, you as a foreigner, they're giving you the legit price. And these are only five rupees. It's some Nestle thing. I don't know what is Nestle Munch. It feels like it's like a wafer or something, but they're only five rupees. So I just picked them up. And it's nice that in India, you've got like really miniature versions of everything because I guess like people maybe for their kids and that, they can't afford a full bar of dairy milk or something. So you've got these tiny little dairy milks. How many grams would that be? But I'm pretty sure that's only 10 rupees. It's, um, well, it's only 70 calories. So uh, I don't know how many grams it would be. Is that say 12 grams? So it's tiny, but I like that because if I open a bar of dairy milk, I'm going to eat the whole thing. But if I just want a wee snack, I can just eat one of them. And uh, aye, that's a good thing. What else have I got in the old bounty chest? Uh, I don't even know what that is. It's all in one something, but the descriptions in the Sanskrit. So I don't know, but it's only 10 rupees. So if it's not great, chuck it away and not much lost. Uh, some green chutney style chip looking things, only 20 rupees for that. And I had these when I checked into the hotel in uh, Mumbai. They gave me a wee pack that was like five rupees. I think this one's like 20 rupees. Hang on, got the MRP at the back somewhere. Uh, there is only th oh, it's 35 rupees. So that's a big bag of Lay's masala flavoured chips. And what else did I get? It's just all these cans. Oh, I ran out of mosquito spray. They didn't have any sprays in the hypermarket, but they ha did have this. It's only like 80 rupees. It's something, uh, it's a chemical that's like DEET. It's supposed to be as effective and it's a lotion. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty good to be able to find all these legit Western comfort type things, uh, considering that usually in India, it's just these mom and pop shops, these little hole in the walls that sell absolutely nothing. And there's no 7-Elevens like in Thailand. Oh, how good would India be if they had Thailand 7-Elevens everywhere? It would be awesome. <laughs> but there's nothing. It's like you've got either got these little tiny hole in the wall shops that sell almost nothing, or you have to go way out of town or find the one hypermarket that exists on the edge of town or something. So luckily my hotel is not that far away from the, the bypass, the big city bypass. Uh, motorway, which is, uh, well, it's not really a motorway, it's just kind of like the fastest road around that actually has a um, big bazaar. That's the best tip I can give to anybody who wants like stuff like this when they travel to India. Big bazaar. Find it. Anyway, uh, I said I was going to see you at breakfast, didn't I? I said I'd see you guys at breakfast, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll have a wee snack from the in-room dining menu. Aha, uh -huh. what do we have? Parotas. Mali, curry dosa. Okay, guys, I'll find something in this menu, order it, and I'll see you at dinner or supper, whatever it is. <laughs> well, I have decided on the curry dosa because it is a mouth-watering speciality of Madurai, apparently. It's made with fermented pancake of rice batter, egg, mutton and local spices. It says mutton slash chicken, but the only option on the actual menu is mutton. It says here, a heritage speciality of stuffed dosa with mutton and egg, completely unique and delicious. So that means my only chance to try it is right now, right here in Madurai. So time to pick up the phone and get delivered to my room.
Right, well, the food has arrived. It came to 466. Why is there like three plates here? I don't know why. It came to 466 after the tax, so it looks like that's some gravy to go on top of it. I guess this is a dosa. Let's see, it's supposed to be a stuffed dosa. I didn't know there was going to be like a gravy as well. I thought it was just going to be some sort of like pancakey dosa thing. Oh, that looks and smells delicious. Let's have a look inside. Can I just open it up? Oh, it's full of mutton. Oh, that smells amazing. There's like mutton and onion and I can see it's very eggy as well. Oh, this pancake dosa and I guess this is some kind of spicy gravy to dip it in. I'm probably going to do it wrong like usual, <laughs> but let's get stuck in. Well, I don't know why there are three plates. There's one with the food on it, one that's just carrying some napkins and then a spare one. I guess maybe they think I'm sharing this, like that's a serving plate and then I'm sharing, maybe I'm here with a girl so I'm going to split it in two or something. Your man's alone though, he's only here for one night, no time to play Tinder, but if you're only here for one night you need to be spending, I don't know, usually like two or three, at least two or three days in a city if you want to have uh, success finding a partner to share your meals with. Guys, right, uh, okay, so this is the gravy. I'll give that a wee taste before anything else because that actually, this delicious looking stuff, you could just eat that on its own I reckon, by the look and smell of it, I haven't tried it yet, but I'll try the gravy to see, what is this little metal pot, it's kind of cool, kind of rustic, kind of nice, uh, for a heritage hotel, watch I don't spill any of this on my laptop, right, when I get rid of you guys, I'm going to enjoy this for some YouTube, <laughs> but for now, I'll let you see me, uh, give it a taste test, of this Madurai speciality food. Right, first things first. I, in fact, I do think I'm eating with a girl. Look, I've got two spoons and two forks, so... Uh, sadly, eating alone. But I'm not eating alone, am I? I'm eating with uh, you guys. <laughs> Let's give a taste of this gravy. It is just a thick broth with... I see some chilli in there. There's like a small... In fact, that's a leaf, a green leaf. Let's just taste it. Not very spicy at all, just uh, in fact it's zero spicy, it's just a mild gravy, a mild Indian, I don't, even, I don't know what type, it's a mild Indian type of gravy, and this, oh did I just take a big bite out of it, or what, oh look at that, it's thick with mutton, as thick as the layer of dosa is, the pancakey type of dosa, as thick as that is, the layer of mutton is even thicker, and then on the top it's kind of like an omelette, isn't it? It's like an omelette, there's like this eggy layer with like onions and stuff like that. That looks amazing. Oh, two hands again, I'm using it. Sorry guys, sorry. Mmm. <laughs> Damn. This is a perfect late night food. This really is. Oh wow. Mmm. That's lovely. And a wee dip in the gravy. Oh, I, I know what one of the plates for, it's for catching all the drippings and stuff like that. Otherwise I'd be making a right old mess. Wow, it's the two thumbs up again, amazing. This is amazing food, wow. Late night comfort food in a comfortable hotel room. Your man's enjoying life. <laughs> right, I'm going to finish this with some YouTube. I'll say goodbye to you guys and then I really will see you tomorrow at the breakfast. Cheers for now. Good morning. Well, my laundry drying area has done its job. Nice fresh clothes. This fan. Thank you, Mr. Fan. And thank you to you, my fans, who have watched this far in the video. It's probably going to be a long one. Anyway, it's 7.15. Leaving here at 8.15 to go to Manar. But first, I think it's time for some breakfast. Since it's included in the room, <laughs> you can't miss it, can you? <sighs> Although I have missed quite a few breakfasts in my life in hotels. <sighs> Let's do it. Good morning. Come to enjoy some breakfast. Yeah, good. How was your day, sir? Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, nice and relaxing. Okay, Only got one mosquito bite. Only one. <laughs> Just one. Usually I'm getting more. I mean, careful. I'll put the cream on, everything. Yeah. Burning them. I even got the housekeeping to spray the room before uh, the evening and stuff. Being really, really, really careful to avoid them. Yeah. And the 
Yoga section is also going. There's a yoga. Uh, I don't have time. I'm going to Manar in like less than one hour. So well, yeah, I gotta pack all my stuff and everything. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, oh, great. So okay, it's like buffet style, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm at room two six zero three. Okay, thank you. Let's have a look around. Oh, oh real bacon. <laughs> It's the first time I've seen real bacon in India. Real pork. I'll have a bit of that. So it looks extremely fatty though. Uh, hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Let's have a look. Good morning, good morning. Oh, steamed corn. Any dosas going on? Dosas here. Oh, it's like a dosa station, right? Oh. Choice of dosa, non veg. Choice of omelettes or pancake. Okay, well, I guess it's got to be the dosa when you're in India. So I just make the order here. Hi, how are you? Hi. Yeah, okay. I don't know what the choices are. I guess it's like the omelette where you can kind of choose what goes inside. Normally with the dosa, I'm getting um, that aloo in it. Chef dosa, That's the chef dosa. Oh, good morning, how are you? Uh, what is the going inside the dosa? Good morning, Is the aloo? Aloo? Uh -huh. so Indian there's only... huh? Okay. So there's no choice, it's just one one kind of dosa, right? Okay, he'll make it for me. So okay. I will sit down and he'll bring. Right. Okay, good, thank you. Right. Let's uh, have a look at what other food is going on. Definitely gonna get uh, a little bit of Indian food. Like uh, what is this? Bonda and onion karam uh, pakoda. Oh, it's pretty decent, nice and deep fried, suits me. So I'll probably get some of that and then just a wee bit of the Western food, the bacon and stuff. Okay, I'm taking some idli. There's a choice between Melagu idli and plain one. I don't know what the Melagu is, but that's what I've taken right there. Uh, they look like little fluffy pancakes, but we'll see how they taste. And look at this lovely chutney. Wow. Tomato, onion and coconut. Alright, I guess I'll uh, get a spoonful of each and see which one's best. Juice section. Well, at least they tell you which ones are fresh and which ones are from the bottle. They say like that, the orange is from the bottle and, you know, the lemon and the watermelon are fresh. So, that's nice. I know to choose the fresh ones. And these tiny glasses that they give you, I always hate that. In hotel breakfast, they give you these tiny wee glasses and you have to fill up about five of them. So that you don't have to keep coming back and forward. There we go. Nice. Over here as well, some little yogurts and uh, stuff. Aye, it's looking nice, isn't it? Nice wee scran before the road trip. Oh, there we go. Let's try this breakfast out. Right, first things first. They said this was onion pakoda. It looks like deep fried onion and I guess some, some flour batter. Hi, how are you? Say again? Black coffee. Black coffee. Ah, no, thank you. I'm fine with the juice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. That's nice. Zero spicy. Nice and light for breakfast. If you can call something that's deep fried light, but I'm Scottish, so it's normal for me. In fact, I'll make dip this in a bit of the this is the onion chutney here, so I'll give that a try. It's alright, but let's try the, uh, the tomato one. I actually got this chutney for the idli, but <laughs> could use it with everything. Tomato chutney is nice, and I've had coconut chutney before. That big breakfast I had in Bangkok, if you've seen that video, it was lovely. Mm, that's the best one for sure, the coconut one. Right. Didn't take too much of it though. Right, so this... Oh, it's some kind of bready pancake or something. I don't know what idli is. I probably should have done some research on Indian breakfast before coming down and filming this, but never mind. I'll tell you if it's good or not. That's the most important thing. Mmm. Nice and light and fluffy again, perfect breakfast food. Easily digestible, I think. Easily edible, easily digestible type of breakfast food. Mmm. 
what is this again? For what, forgot what this was called already, but it looks like a little donut. Oh yeah, they said it's made from lentils. Pretty sure this is similar to the thing that uh, Wada Vada that I had in Sri Lanka on the street. Pretty sure that's what that's like. If I remember then, it was not a sweet kind of donut, it's just a... Ah, it's just basically a savoury donut, I think. But that's made with flour from the lentils from the dal rather than, than wheat. But it needs a bit of flavour. Luckily, your man has got the coconut chutney. Hmm, and that makes it perfect. <laughs> and this, I think, what is this? Some kind of uh, thin noodles. And it's nice, but I prefer the other food more. Right, so I'll scoff this and I'll see you when the dosa comes, the fresh dosa that's been made fresh for me. Fantastic. Okay, cleared that plate, just waiting for the dosa now. Oh, good. Well, while I wait for the dosa, I'll try out their pork bacon. It's been a while since I've eaten this. Mmm. <laughs> Proper. I picked out the meatiest parts as well. Mmm. Some people out there doing their morning yoga. And uh, fortunately, your man doesn't have time to join them. Mm. That's my daughter. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Great. Ooh. Okay, he's brought it with a chutney loaded on the plate as well. And inside, some aloo, some masala aloo. Uh, nice and thin, it's just what you want at breakfast, not like that big fat dosa that I had at that Chow Patty Beach in uh, Mumbai. It was massive, didn't finish it. Again, pretty much anything would taste nice with this coconut chutney. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's nice, nice and light. Okay. Finish this off. Thank you. Ooh. That breakfast, a lovely start to the day. Now I've got 25 minutes to pack my stuff and make my way to Minar. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in Munar. Hey. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Okay.